next topic deals with the law. And who is better to tackle this subject than chicken gynecologist, Dr. Frank Robinson? I come back. Just, there we go. So my video can't start because of me. Um, which is still a poll question in the meantime. So what do you call a juvenile female chicken, a poult, a heifer, a pullet, or a rooster? Only one right answer. Okay, can we else? So 74% of you got the right answer, a pullet. So a hen is an adult chicken, is a baby turkey. Heifer is a, a female cow. And a rooster is, you know what a rooster is. All of you knew what a rooster was. So I think we'll go to the next slide. So what I'm going to talk about is sort of how all this fits in the big um, world of chicken and the things, which are chickens we eat for meat. There's really five links in the chain that I want to talk about briefly. So the primary breeder companies are the big companies which produce the genetics. And they're just think of them as like the big car companies that produce a new model of a car. Every year they produce a new model or two maybe with better feed efficiency or better. There's about 28 of those in the province of all roosters, hens and roosters together to get fertilized eggs. And they sell eggs like this that go to incubators and, and hatcheries. So this hatchery here um, would take those eggs and incubate them. And then they would go to a broader breeder farm or can we go back a couple of slides? Then one more slide. Yeah. Okay, then go back to the broader breed. So they go to broader broader producers who grow these birds out, and then they go to the processor, which um, results in the, what you get at the store. So now we go to the next slide. So this is a picture inside the, the broader breeder barn. So the, what, these chicks all came from probably Arkansas or Oklahoma when they were little day old chicks, and then they are raised here with roosters and they have nest boxes and they have very controlled feed to make sure they don't get too fat. And um, they have a, a really controlled lighting. So in these, a hen is an adult female, a rooster is an adult male. Next slide. So this is a picture of a big commercial incubator. So um, the eggs spend about 18 days on racks like this where they turn um, and so they turn a few degrees each way to slosh the embryo around so make sure it doesn't stick to the shell. And we go to the next slide. And they spend, so this is a picture of them here showing how they've turned. It's all done with air hoses. And then they, on day 18, they take them out and they put them in these little plastic drawers. Because if a chick hatched in these things, that could be really um, a, a tragedy. So we put them into these drawers here and they have their own space and they hatch out fluff up and then on day 21 and a half or so, we open the doors and take them out. Next slide. So they go to broader barns like this. And there's about 250 broader barns in Alberta, broader farms, and they grow up to market in 38 days. So they grow really, really fast. People think they're force fed. People think they're given hormones. Neither one of those is true. They just have been so selected for growth rate that they grow fast. And um, we put feet on the floor here to get them off to a good start. And then 38 days later, this is what the barn looks like. They, um, the feeders and waters have been raised up here and you're, um, they're ready to go to market. Next slide. So on the table egg industry side now, so these are the eggs that you buy to eat in the store. And you're gonna hear a lot more of these, both this from Susan in a few minutes, but the young pullets then are the birds that will grow up to become hens. And they start laying at probably 19-ish, 20 weeks. Next slide. 
And they're either put in cages like this. This is an example of a, a relatively new cage where it's got lots more room, and a lot more head, head width. You don't usually see a rooster in one of these cages, but we have them at the university in, because we sell fertile eggs to various researchers. But um, they're very, these have all kinds of modifications that I'm sure Susan will talk about like perches and nest boxes and, and Carrie's talked about some of that too. Next slide. So here's kind of the, for the Carrie mentioned they like privacy for egg laying. So they go in here and there's a belt here that takes all the eggs to the far end of the building. Next slide. So free run hens are hens that aren't in cages. And so um, Susan will talk to you a lot more about that, but these are on a slatted floor. So all the droppings go through there and they drink out of these nipples here. Um, and these are brown birds that can have brown or white. The brown birds are typically a little bit bigger, I think. And so the feed efficiency might be a little bit worse, but um, if you like brown eggs, this is probably the kind of place they come from. Next slide. So I wanna just mention turkeys for a minute because they're part of poultry. So a poult is a juvenile turkey. And these are turkeys on a farm up by Redwater and they come from the hatchery, very sim similar to the way that chickens come from a hatchery. And they hatch out in 28 days and they go in big barns like this. Next slide. And about 15 weeks later, they look like this. They look like big turkeys and they are um, either used for a whole bird market um, which is typically like our Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas kind of thing. But more likely they're used for a further process market where they get even bigger than that. And they're made into turkey rolls and, and things like that. And they're, um, that's how we consume an awful lot of turkey. Okay, so I think I will stop there.